shaking, shaking. The ground is rumbling as we're coming, we're coming. I've come all the way to Belfast to see Ollie, but what if he just dumps me on the spot? Where do you deliver me? I feel like Ollie is really quiet. I just want to get to the apartment so we can talk about everything properly. I need to know where his head is at. How beautiful. I can't lose him. Like, I cannot. He's everything and more that I've ever wanted in someone. And for me to then ruin it literally kills me. The earth is shaking. Sh 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 shaking. <gasps> wow, look, I can make you breakfast in the morning. Yeah, that would be good. I can't wait any longer. I need to find out now if we have a future together. I see a place to call home. The last week hasn't been great, has it? <laughs> oh, has it? We could ignore these things we've both done now. I, you can only, a person can only take so much. I think the last thing I need after a long day at work to argue with you at home, can't be bothered to it, can't be bothered with it, do you know what I mean? What do I have to do for you to realise that I'm not the enemy? Yeah, no, I know. Because I've seen it happen before, do you know what I mean? Where you push someone away so much and then the other person gets sick, don't they? And this goes, oh, we'll suck this. Yeah. Why not? I don't want that to happen. The last thing I want to happen. I want us to break up. You haven't pushed me away yet. You haven't pushed me away. No, you just said that to make me feel better because I'm crying. Aww. I'm still here, Anna. I just want, I want you to get to the root of why you're unhappy and why you're taking it out on me, do you know what I mean? And then work for it together, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we have to be emotional when you say that. Well, we do. No, I know, but you know how, like, you say we? Well, yeah, I can't work through your problems. No, but, like, but some, a you. lot of people would be like, you need to sort it out, or you need to fix this, fix, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll help you, do you know what I mean? I'll, we'll work for it together. So I'm your father, Anna. Obviously, things with my dad affect, like, actually my day-to-day -day happiness. I know what you're going through. Crap in your life, do you know what I mean? I, I know you're unhappy in certain things. But I'm, I'm I should be the person you come to to cheer you up, do you know what I mean? Not argue and battle with, because it just makes it worse, doesn't it? And all you're doing is annoying me and then making yourself more unhappy because we're arguing. I know. I'll be better, I promise. I just want you to be happy, that's all. You can blame it all on me. Give me a kiss. You can say mm -hmm. it wasn't meant to be. From now on, I'm going to turn to Ollie to help me with my problems instead of taking them out on him. I'm not going to cry anymore because I'm going to burn my eyelash. <sighs> we should have a nice weekend. I can't even tell you how glad I am that that conversation is done. I was so nervous for it. I genuinely felt like he was just slipping away. I thought any minute he's going to turn around and say, like, look, we're done. And then to hear him say, like, look, I was annoyed. Like, I do mean it, but, like, a lot of the stuff I said, I was annoyed that like I said it in the moment. I'm like, I didn't... I did need to worry and things did need to change, but I feel so much better about everything. Like, I, I feel like we're back to normal. And if... Not even back to normal, I feel like we're better than ever. I want to fend my... You'll find me back in the summer Listening to our song Singing along And I would just It's a big job, you know. Forever. Let's do it. Come on. Cos that's where I belong. You need me on that. Yes! The moral support. Oh! <gasps> it's worse than I thought. Where do we start? You need to set the lead here, mate, so I don't have a clue what's going on. Moving house is a big job, and there is so much to pack and organise. But if we start from the top of the house and make our way down, then nothing should get missed. 
put all the clothes in the boxes, pretty please. And I'll start over here. I don't think Jordan actually knows what is even up there because he just puts things up for me because then there's not clutter down here. But I don't think he actually knows the full extent of how much I have up there. Like, there's a lot. There's a mattress up there. A double. <laughs> The amount of clothes you have is a joke. Do we need pillows? No. I just don't know how we're going to do this. I don't. Do you have any shoe boxes up here? It's actually ridiculous. <laughs> is it stressing you out a bit, Clive? Yep, a lot. Oh, George, look what I got. What have you kept that for? For our next child. Yeah, but you know what you're like, you want a new one. Yeah, I will, but this will be the buggy. I won't need a new buggy. This cleaned up fresh will be fine. What about that box? This is a memory box. <laughs> All the things I love about you. So I thought I would write as many things as I could why I love you and put it all in a jar. Don't you think this is really smelly? Are you going to cry? <laughs> oh. So one of these are? Yeah, I'll read one. First one's really nice. What? No. I love sharing a home with you. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then read some more. I love how you have nice man feet. Yeah, I do. I still love that, that you don't have ugly man feet. I wrote, I love the fact that we've made it to four years and this year we've been together nine years. So like how long ago that was and how much older we are and how much more we've learned and how much bigger Marley's got is just scary and exciting and crazy and all these emotions all in one. It's like the end of an era, George. Just all this stuff that we've like accumulated over the past five years. Like this is our whole life. Remembering all the amazing times we had together in this house has made me even more excited for the memories we're going to make in the new one. Should we call that a day, then? Mm-hmm. Well done. I mean, you did all the work, really. Thanks for the moral support. Yeah.